Before we start the video guys, I want you to know that we're making 3 Nitros giveaways. Make sure to check out our Discord server, link in the description. And it, if you didn't find it, it's just discord.gg slash alltracks. And now, let's hop into the video. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back in a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a role information command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. And if you need source code, it's all there in the server. Go there just to the information channel and you'll find any links. Now, let's go to the commands folder, normal, and then role info.js. Let me use my old method of uh, like making the videos in this video that is I just put the code and then start telling what each line do okay so here we got in the first line we got we are defining discord okay so oops let me do uh, defining discord so uh, here this to import our work using my command handler if you don't know what is a command handler make sure to check out my fifth video or fifth episode of discord.js so uh, importing or let me just type command handler here we want to make sure that the uh, message starts with the prefix so making sure that the message starts with the prefix so here we're gonna define role as uh, a blank, so we can define it multiple times. So defining role as blank, so we can define it multiple times. Okay. So here we're gonna see uh, say that uh, if no arg zero. So what is arg zero basically? So in the command you do like this and then something here, okay, let me put like uh, orgs, okay, and then space, oops, okay, like that, okay, and let me, this is here, the first thing you say after uh, the command is org0, uh, this is using my uh, org system. Okay, this is orgs 1, 2, and this 3. So basically, the first thing after the command is org 0. Okay, so we want to say if org 0 isn't there, okay, so let me do like this, it will send this. So if no org 0, send this. Okay, now we want to say that. Uh, if there is arg0, so if there is args 0 and this mean is NEN mean is not a number. So NEN equal not a number. It's a JavaScript function by the way. So is NEN so is not a fun uh, is not a, a, a number. So if arg0 is not a number and okay so I'm gonna put and uh, there is a role mentioned in the message there is a role mentioned in the message okay so role the variable that we define it here it's gonna be the uh, like the role got the, the role that got mentioned in the message so the role var will be defined as the role that got mentioned in the message okay amazing so now here if there is args two uh, args one if there is args uh, zero i mean sorry and it is not or not a number and okay uh, there is no role that got mentioned okay so there is no role that got mentioned in the 
message. So I'm gonna put like this so continue. So role, we're gonna define role. Let me actually put the note uh, above it. So so role will be defined as this. Okay. So what is this? Basically, this it's gonna check for the orgs or the thing that you typed, and it gonna check in the server roles. So I'm gonna here go to the server roles, and it's gonna find using a name to lowercase, and it gonna, it gonna search for it in the server roles. So if I did like equal role, uh, oops, like prefix like that, equal role, and the role name was like admin. So I put admin. It gonna go search for the role name in the whole server without pinging it. Okay. It gonna search for the role by the name without pinging it. Okay, here if it didn't find it, so if it didn't find the role, it's gonna send this role not found. It's gonna send, oops, send role not found. Okay, as you can see here, so this means uh, like rejection or no, like the thing will not happen or didn't happen so i just put it the same thing but with this it's gonna just return a reply saying that amazing so now if there is if there is args zero plus it's a number it's a number why is the number even if you see this is an an is because we put it that as i just said the exclamation mark refuse or like reject or how, how like i think you got what i mean that it's, it's just reverse the thing okay so it is not a number but with this so it is a number okay uh it's gonna define it's gonna define role as a um, how to say that I'm gonna define it as the I'm gonna go to the role member like the gold roles and then I'm gonna search for the role ID as the org zero so, so it's gonna go to the server and search in the roles ID for orgs zero that is or that should be the role ID. Okay, so if it didn't find it, it's gonna send this. And you can also put here like uh, the ID is invalid. Okay, so here. If there is no role var variable, so like it didn't do any of those, it's gonna just send that. At least give like mention a role or give an ID or something. Okay, it will send this. So here we're gonna define with role. So people with that role. Okay, but we're gonna define it uh, like defining the. Uh, people with role variable okay so what is this basically here the first one let me put it above it so if the amount of people if the amount of people who have the role is more than uh, five so show this Okay, and I will explain more, but let me just put it here. And then, if not, show them all. So, if the member roles is uh, like the role member size, like how many people have the role, is more than five, 
with role will be equal to role.memory.map is going to get the people who have the role, their ID, and then put it like that. And then it's gonna slide them, like I gonna get only five, and it's gonna put uh, a, uh, a comma space between uh, everyone. So it's gonna be like ultra x, comma, space, uh, user two, okay, comma, space, like that. Okay. So, uh, and after it got more, it, uh, like if there is 10 people who have the role, okay, so. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 basically so it's gonna make the amount of people minus 5 that they will be shown and it's gonna say at the end like 5 more members like that okay so let me just remove this and here if it's not more than 5 just simply display them all okay so here I'm gonna create an embed create an embed Okay, the color of the embed will be the role color, so the color of the embed will be the role color. Okay, and then uh, it's gonna put this as the set uh, author, it's gonna be the, uh, mess the guild uh, name, and it's gonna put the guild uh, icon, I put like that. Okay, and then here the description first thing will be the role name and then I'm gonna put here that like the role the actual role, like ping it But it doesn't really ping because it's an embed and then I'm gonna put the role ID and if it is uh, If it is mentionable or no, and it, this will be true or false So we want the bot to replace true by yes and false by no Okay So uh, Then the role member size how many people have it and then it will display them and if there is no one have it, it's gonna just say no one has the role. Then it's gonna send the embed. Then it's gonna send the embed. Okay, so that's it. Let's now test it out. By the way, if you have any question, don't hesitate joining our Discord server and you'll get help. Or you can just say in the comments and you'll get help too. But in the server, it will be faster because there's a lot of people to help you. Okay, so now let's test it. So if I go here. If I went here, I mean, and if I did role, you need to provide a role name ID, anything. Okay, so if I did role and uh, like something that isn't real, okay, it didn't say because it, it is in args and it is not, it is a number, so you're gonna say that I, the ID is invalid. So if I did like that and did like this. Role not found, as you can see. Now, if I did like that, and I actually pinged uh, like this, as you can see, no one had the role because he he, he had it before the bot was on. But if I just removed it and edit again, it gonna show him. So let me show you. Okay, and let me add it to myself as well. Now it should show both of us. Okay. But let me use first the role ID that is over here. It's gonna also work. As you can see, it also work. It show that uh, like using the ID. What if I used the role name? By the way, it didn't show him because of the cache. Okay, so it's gonna take just a couple seconds. Okay, so verified. I verified. As you can see now, it, it got some time, so it added him, as you can see. So it show him. What if I used a lot of, like, let's add it to multiple people, more than five. Okay, let me show you what's gonna happen. Okay. Okay, so let me just add it to one more person. That's enough. Now I need to use it, like, twice, just for the cache. Okay. Here it's gonna just stay because the bot didn't really yet put it in the cache because we did like cache like that. So you just need to wait a little bit. Let me try to ping the role instead. Okay. So as you can see, it's just hard to getting people. You're gonna just need some time. 
I'm gonna wait like three seconds and then try again. Not a lot. Everyone is just freaking out. Okay, no more. Wreck. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.